So you're interested in checking out my HMO that has supposedly been trashed by the tenants. I've got another tenant moving in in just five days and I need to turn this property around pronto. My name's Dan, welcome to another video. If it's your first time here and you're interested in hearing about all things UK buy to let property related, make sure you start now by subscribing and clicking the bell to ensure that you don't miss a thing. So here we are just outside my two bed HMO. Tenants have just moved out, the two tenants, they were friends. I have had reports from my letting agent that the place is in a bit of a state and we've got the cleaners coming in over the weekend. So I just wanted to create this video through my eyes as I just go in and have a look. Normally I wouldn't actually do this, but just to give you guys a bit of an idea, of what properties potentially could be left like when tenants do move out and then I'm hoping to be able to pop in afterwards once the cleaners have been through the place as well just to show you that difference of how quickly you can turn it around and get more tenants in even if a tenant or tenants haven't particularly looked after a property so let's go and have a look shall we This property actually just before the tenants moved in was completely renovated. I took everywhere back to brick. It's all been replastered, repainted. All of the furniture is completely new. All of the white goods, new kitchen, new bathroom, etc. Absolutely everything. So it was absolutely pristine when these guys moved in. So let me give you a bit of a tour. And what I'll also do is put the photos of when I initially advertised it as well. So just before these tenants went in, let me give you a quick tour around. We'll have a look together. Certainly slightly different to uh, when the tenants moved in, that's for sure. We've got some nice marks, looks like foot marks on the wall over here. Lovely uh, stains and just ground in dirt, whatever this is. Wow. So this is the lounge, just, um, yeah, new carpet it was. What have we got down here? Stained carpets, dirty radiators. Skirting boards, disgusting. Let's uh, let's go through. Let's have a look. See what else. Wow! And this is how they've left it. This was a uh, brand spanking new vinyl, new fridge. Dread to think what's in there. Wow, that's nice, isn't it? And it stinks as well. Good grief. I'm actually gonna turn that off so the cleaners can sort it. Is that broken there as well? Look at this. Through into the kitchen, which was a completely new kitchen. Um, so this will be interesting. This place is furnished, it is a HMO stains on the cooker this was a new hob wow look at that oh they've done a good job of that really nice some noodles instant noodles in there as well beautiful wow oh my god Whew. Oh yes, new microwave it was anyway. That's awesome, isn't it? Done a good job of that. My God. See they've uh, kept on top of cleaning the shower as well. Done a lovely job there. Okay, cleaners certainly got their work cut out, that's for sure. Let's have a quick look up the stairs then. See, they've done a great job there of uh, keeping this area clean as well. God only knows what we're gonna find in these bedrooms. So a quick look in the back bedroom here. I guess there isn't really a great deal. Oh, nice socks there. Unbelievable. So these tenants actually didn't want to clean the property themselves. Um, they wanted us to send in cleaners uh, to do it for them. Let me just check over this mattress. Uh, yeah, it's not ideal either, is it really? I might have to change that as well. Um, so yeah, these tenants actually wanted us to bring in the cleaners and, and they're gonna pay for it, which is great. Um, but I tell you now, it's gonna cost them, that's for sure. 
Oh yes, lovely. All that hard work I did on that wall as well. My word, that's annoying. Ah, the well, cupboard's clean. So there you have it, that's what it looks like. No point getting angry, no point getting upset. It's a business and this is gonna happen at the end of the day. So in answer to the question, what happens if a tenant trashes your place? I guess it's not really overly trash, but it's absolutely filthy, it's disgusting. Simple answer to that is, get the industrial cleaners in, pay them whatever they want out of the tenant's deposit, and then also look out for any damages at all and charge the tenants for that. And then get somebody next in. So I've got somebody coming in here next Thursday, which is about four or five days away. Got the uh, cleaners coming in over the weekend. And what I'll do, I'll jump back on video uh, and give you guys a bit of a rundown and show you what it looks like once the cleaners have been through the place. So here we are, back in the HMO. The cleaners have now been in. I have had a quick look around. There are a few little bits that I still just want to go back to my agent and get sorted out. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. So let me give you a quick tour around so you can now see the difference between a day's work. It was only yesterday when we actually came in the property. So here we are in the lounge. As you can see, looking far cleaner than it was before. So I'm going to charge the tenants for damaging the table just here. Um, there are some marks on the wall over here as well. Now that's kind of not wear and tear really. That's obviously somebody with their feet up on the sofa, um, rubbing them on the wall. And there's a little bit of marks on the wall here. Now that's coming in the door. So I could kind of class that as a little bit of wear and tear. Because I use the paint throughout all of my properties as well, it's gonna be pretty easy for me just to sort of cover that over. But looking good, it actually smells quite fresh in the lounge as well. Um, moving through into the dining area, definitely a big change to what we had before. We remember there was uh, some marks down here, wasn't there? Um, so that's looking okay-ish. Um, let's have a look at this fridge freezer to see what this now looks like. Ah, oh, that's better. Still, oh yeah, okay, wear and tear, I guess. Um, but that, yeah, that's looking a whole lot better. So you can just see around here that we're looking a lot fresher and a lot cleaner. So if we just have a quick look in the kitchen here. Now I've just taken these pots and pans out. If you can see the kettle here, I don't feel that that's been cleaned to a high standard to say that these cleaners have been paid £400 uh, to clean the whole apartment. They've clearly not cleaned the pans very well at all. The stove is looking not too bad. One thing I did notice is they've clearly missed that cupboard. So I'm just going to get that sorted out with my letting agent um, and get them to send somebody back in to do a bit more cleaning. Um, and of course the tenants will be charged for it. It's not coming out of out of um, my rent or anything. Let's have a look at the oven. Now, if you can remember what that looked like, in fact, I'll put a photo in for you as well so you can see, that is a massive difference, isn't it? A massive change. Um, microwave was another one, and yep, yeah, that's looking okay now. That's um, just the age of it. It's a bit dirty down here, but washing machine seems okay. Into the bathroom. Um, so shower, mm, I don't really think that they've done a very good job on those tiles at all. So I'm certainly going to be reporting that one in. But as a whole, on a whole, um, it actually isn't really looking too bad. Certainly somebody could move in, that's for sure. We move on up the stairs. If you can remember, there was full of dust all the way up the side here. Um, but now this is looking far better. The carpets have obviously been hoovered, which is looking good. Into the back bedroom, just here. Uh, this is looking far better. Um, so, not a f no, there's not really any scuffs on that wall at all. Um, room's looking actually okay. Not bad at all. One thing I have noticed, which I'm going to charge the tenants for, is a mark here uh, on the chair that you can see there. So that'll be coming out of their bond. If we then move over into the front bedroom. Uh, bed's back where it was before, which is good. There are a few marks on that purple wall. Um, but I'm sure that comes down to wear and tear. I'll certainly cover the cost of that, of getting that sorted out. Um, but all in all, this room now smells a lot fresher, looks a lot better, um, far cleaner, ready for somebody to move in. Now you will just see there's some sort of marks just here. Now, obviously that's a passing wall there as you go past towards the door. So, you know, that's my responsibility. You know, it's a bit of wear and tear. Somebody's been in here for over a year now, coming on a year and a half. So I can, because I use the same paint in all of my properties, I can actually just run a roller up there and it'll cover it no problem at all and look a, look a lot better for the next tenant moving in. So there you go. 
What do you reckon? Property is supposedly trashed. That's what my letting agent said to me. It's been trashed, but don't worry about it. We're going to get it sorted out. We're going to send the professional cleaners in there. This job has already cost the tenants £400. But like I said in the start of the video, the tenants actually didn't want to clean on their way out. They just said, do us a favour. Can you get some cleaners in there? Um, and we're happy to pay for it. So they've already paid for that. Of course, I do have their deposit money as well for the things like the marks on the table, the marks on the chairs, etc. And I'm just going to report that back to my letting agent and get that money taken out of their deposit. And then we're fair and square. So you can probably just see behind me here that I've actually taken some furniture out of the property. Now it's not going to be let as a HMO. It's just going to be on a normal AST. Yes, it is furnished. However, there's less stuff in there of mine than it's actually better. So if anything does go wrong and you have it in a property when a tenant lets it, then it's your responsibility. So I've just taken and all of just the small things that weren't really necessary to be in there just the odd table here and there but it's perfectly comfortable for the tenant the tenant will really enjoy staying in that property and like i say it was just a quick flip from a hmo two bed hmo um has now gone on a single uh, single let ast i'll run it like that for a while until hopefully we're out of this covid time and then of course when demand comes back so thank you so much for watching i hope it's been insightful and of course if you've got any questions just drop them in the comments below